2017 Moomba Mojo sitting in a white hall and deck red and silver metallic accents with an exterior graphics package sits on a tandem axle uh, boatmate trailer color matched in red has a Roswell aviator tower equipped with the um, bimini top rotating board racks and a set of wet sounds rev 8 tower speakers boat is in excellent condition with just 315 hours on the uh, Inmar Raptor 400. This is a trade-in. We finished a full service on the boat. So it's fresh fluids, filters, and a raw water impeller. And it is water ready. Good looking boat. Spacious. It's kind of the snub nose bow on the Mojo. It's kind of flat, so you get nice wide seating in the front. There's uh, step pads. I believe this is marine mat step pads around the gunnels. It does have docking lights up here. See that silver metal flake that wraps around. The boat's in awesome shape. We have kind of a black chrome finish on the Moomba decals on the side. A couple little scuffs on those, but nothing super significant. Really not much to point out on the exterior. You're gonna find little stuff here and there. It's really, really minor. Let's see a couple light scuffs here. Actually, these aren't even, even though it's like the top layer of these decals are starting to peel in a couple spots, but nothing too crazy. And then there is a nice scuff back here. But the Joe coat all looks really good. Around the transom, does have the, uh, I believe they call it the swell surf system. You can see that center tab. Does have a transom stereo remote for the fusion head unit. Sea deck on the platform. It's a little wet still. I just wiped it off. Not a bad looking setup here. This is a local boat. One owner traded it on a new boat here in our dealership. So we step up into the inside. You do have this nice wide step here across the back. This has um, the marine mat on it as well as the gunnels. And then our interior kind of has a matching color scheme to the outside. We've got kind of an off-white light gray um, with the darker gray seat bases all the way around. With red piping and a charcoal accents here as well. You can see this is a uh, textured vinyl couple different types of materials in here kind of break it up a little bit looks nice there is uh, charcoal gray snap it and carpet as well vinyl is in excellent condition boat has been very well taken care of and as far as stuff to point out on the seats I haven't really found much everything looks kind of like what you're seeing right here in the video Sun pad, awesome condition. If we open up, going to see this does have the wake makers kit for the rear ballast. And there, I believe there's another bag up front that's been upgraded. We'll see that in a second, but higher capacity there for your ballast in the rear of this boat. It's gonna help kick that surf wave up nicely. And then we have the, again, the Raptor 400. It's a 6.2 liter um, GM block. Or I'm sorry, GM, Ford block. Ford Raptor. I should have known. Pop-up ski pile on here in the center. Nice walkover as well. Uh, walk through, leads us down into the interior where the center seat does slide. It's on, our, on, on these tracks here on the sides. 
Nice lean back on the starboard side. You can open up and see the rear bags move all the way up. So this communicates all the way into the back corner of the boat. So this is all one bag. So those take a little bit to fill, but again, um, once they're full, you're gonna get a nice surf wave behind this thing. They are holding quite a bit of weight. See the same thing on this side. Cup holders all around. There are kicker interior speakers, uh, I believe six of those, and then a small 10 inch subwoofer underneath the helm. Again, Roswell Aviator Tower in black, just a classic. All the accessories on there. It does also have flag holders. Um, if we can flip up here, we'll see underneath, you do have a dual battery set up on this boat. All your seat cushions are loose, so then you can pull them out and clean them. They're not mounted to anything. Nice big storage compartment underneath. There is a onboard battery charger as well. And if we peek up front, you're gonna see that black ballast bag. That's the uh, extra ballast that's piggybacked onto the, uh, the belly tank. Can open the glove box here, just a little bit of storage and a 12 volt outlet. There is a nice PTM mirror mounted up on the windshield. Our driver's seat, excellent condition, does bolster, slide, and rotate. And you have a 17 person capacity on this Mojo. Step down here to the dash. Analog switches for all your lighting. And then you can run the uh, ballast and surf system from the right side and then your uh, fusion head unit over here. This does have uh, USB and auxiliary inputs right above it as well. And then you do have the um, old school analog tack and speedo on either side of your digital screen here in the center and the screen in the middle. Um, I'm not very good at navigating this thing, but it's gonna have, close out of this. You can toggle off and on your speed control. You can go in here and adjust the surf system and um, adjust your pitch and roll for the auto wake, which this boat does have. I haven't experimented with it too much, uh, but when we're out on the water, all the pitch and roll stuff is reading properly. And coming up into the bow, lastly, we have a bow filler cushion option on. And uh, again, you saw the bag, but that fills up all the storage underneath the bow. But you do have a lot of seating space up here. Not a lot of storage, but a lot of seating. That pretty much wraps it up on this Moomba. This thing's in good shape. Um, I just realized I didn't walk down the starboard side, so <laughs> let me hop off and, and do that really fast. Pretty much the same thing we're seeing on the other side, a couple spots where this clear layer on the graphic is starting to bubble a little bit, mainly right there. But the rest of the exterior looks really good. So come check out this Moomba. We got it here at the shop. You can reach us at 317-845-9253. Thanks for watching.